Yo, it's your boy Zay. Welcome back to another video. We are still out here in Cusco, Peru. And what we're doing today is behind the scenes of Cusco. We're doing a little bit of cooking. We're actually doing two separate tours. So a lot less talking and let's get into today's video. We just made it back to the room and we just finished a healing ceremony and it seemed a little private. So I had to ask before and like, kind of record, take some photos and they said no, at least for the process. But there was this gentleman named Jorge and he's a world natural healer. And where they're called is Baku. You can learn the techniques, but you can never become a Paku because it's inherited. And I thought that was pretty cool. As he started the offering to Mother Nature, he took out like a bunch of different types of seeds, corns, beans, cotton, and everything represented something. For example, the cotton represented clouds. And during the offering, he took out these leaves, Kintu leaves. And what they represented was when you're born, a new life. When you die, the spiritual life and the afterlife. Then he actually handed us those leaves and asked us to think about three people that we think that need our help. I stood up, I thought about those three people, I blew on the leaves three times, then I handed it to him and I said my name. And he actually allowed me to record that part. So here's a clip. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Like honestly. And this is what it looks like when he's almost finished. Now you're asking, what is he gonna do with that? He actually wraps all that up, he brings it to the mountains, and guess what? He burns it. So the ashes can go all around the mountains fulfilling our wishes. And I just found that pretty cool. Like honestly, like that was a cool experience. But I'm gonna head back downstairs. We're about to go check out a cemetery and let's go see what that's all about. This is the entrance of the cemetery. And check that out. Look on top. That's a real school. And we have no idea who it is, but that's creepy and cool at the same time. All right, guys, you guys can see it's completely different than how it is back in the States. So from what I understand, it's like the coffin is just literally just like that. And obviously they decorate it with a couple of things. And we actually just saw a guy that has a job as cleaning the outside, which I'll show you guys right now. This right here is actually all the children, which is extremely sad. And when we first got in here, I thought this is where the kids were, but this is where actually where the ashes go when they're cremated. But these are all adults. Let's go ahead and choose this person right here, right? So there's usually a contract like two, three years. And if they don't pay that, they actually get cremated. So they might just be over here. I don't know necessarily if this is over here because this looks like they wanted them cremated. So might, they might be located somewhere else. So if you're also wondering why they have a case for this stuff, it's because most of the things inside of there is personal belongings. Or it, it can even be decorated with a couple of different things like flowers or whatever the case is. But obviously you want it to be protected, not be messed with with animals or cuff if anybody takes it. But yeah, let's just keep checking things out. It's pretty cool. We went from the cemetery to now to the market where you can actually find fresh produce, where people actually come here instead of going to like the supermarket because they want the fresh stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't know what it is exactly, but they put it like probably like 10, 15 different types of ingredients like bee pollen, honey, apples, pears, mangoes, bananas, and so forth. It's kind of fake. And they also added malta. You don't know what malta is? It's like a non-alcoholic beverage that my parents gave to me when we were kids. It's like beer, but not beer. And now for some cooking lessons. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that this experience would be a lot more hands-on. I mean that's what that's what it made it seem like. But other than that, we actually were able to try it afterwards. I did not record it, though I wasn't really thinking about it. I didn't think we were gonna try, but we actually did. It's not pretty bad. It's potato salad. We have another tour to check the ruins of Usko, which I'm pretty excited to check out. So we just made it to the ruins, and I think at this pace we're gonna be 
We're gonna make it within like 25, 30 minutes. I'm gonna try to see if we can take some photos with, with some alpacas. So pretty. Oh, yeah. We are currently 12, 13,000 feet above sea level, so this shit catches you, bro. But check this out. Some of the fuck, oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> Some of the ruins over here. So, this to my left is actually a water fountain, one of the main points where they got water. And up here is a Torreon. So let's go check that out. Hey, I don't know about you guys. I'm 110% a fan of hiking. Team hiking in the chat? What's up? A little bit out of breath. Don't mind me. It's a better view of the fountain. Where they got what? Water. This elevation is not a joke. I can barely breathe. God damn. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're now at a farm where they raise alpacas and this room right here is all made from baby alpaca. It's extremely smooth and soft and silky like it's from baby alpaca. <laughs> Pretty cool. Something different. And this. Oh my god, I wish you guys can feel this. It's made by Pecunia, a type of llama. And these are extremely expensive. I forgot the exact reason why. But I think it's just like this is its natural color. With the baby alpacas I showed you earlier, they mix like lime and different kind of juices that make the color its color. This is all natural. It is what it is. What it is. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is how they make it. <coughs> Things like this take up to one or two months to finish. Oh wow! Look at this. <laughs> Let's feed some alpacas. Which one should we feed, guys? Oh, I guess this one right here. Oh, oh you'll relax. My God, he looks friendly. Hello, buddy. Okay, you don't want any? They're not friendly for shit. They're about to attack me. Why are you running me like that? I dare you to bite me. Can I pet you? Oh, okay. Oh, look at this little fella right here. Here you go. He, no, all right, he doesn't want it. He said no. You want some? Hey, yo, buddy. Why'd they pull it like that? Oh, he's, he's gonna bite me. Yo, just take it. That's pretty cool. It's a better way to end such a beautiful video than with a beautiful view like come on now but that being said if you guys enjoyed today's video drop a like button subscribe it is free and hey i'll see you guys on the next